today, we're taking it back. A step back in time. Before this virus. Before the greatest to ever play played. Before I was born. Today we're taking it back. To the beginning. To the beginning of the greatest sport ever invented. This is the ultimate simulation. Welcome to Pro Strategy Football 2020. Just in this episode, I guess, you know, so we can all see, you know, uh, how it works. There's another aspect to the side. There's management, of course, which we just kind of looked at. But there's also, I could actually also play a game by being the coach and selecting the plays. I don't physically control, but I can I can play each game. And we'll just show week one. We got Philadelphia Eagles versus the Green Bay Packers. So, um, here it is. And then this is where the game, as far as the graphics go, it lacks, of course. But... It still does some cool things that Madden actually doesn't do, and this is something that uh, I think if you're if you guys are kind of like me, you you you'll appreciate. So let's go ahead. First, we're going to compare the teams, right? Let's compare them. You can you can do your your studying if you really want to, especially when it comes to playoff time. But then you can go to analyze game. What what are what are the you know analysis guys in the studio at Sports Center saying about the game? Well, then guess what? I just simulated it a hundred times. They're saying that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win it by three. Well, let's try and prove them wrong, shall we? Our uh, game plans. Now I can, um, you know, change this how I feel seems fit. But we're going to keep it the same because, you know, really, I don't know too much about the team yet. That's why year number one is always the hardest. It's kind of whatever we have. And, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to go play this game. Now, uh, beginner difficulty, quick games. And for beginners, uh, it says expert is for seasoned coaches and you control every aspect of the offense and defense. If you're new to this type of game, it t- it's telling me to go on beginner mode. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do because this is my first time. This is my first time doing it. So, Philadelphia wins the toss and they get the ball first. Um, type of kick. Oh my goodness, no. Kick, yeah, kick it deep. Jeez. There we go. So, they will be starting their drive at the 21, right? So, it tells you what happened that play, but you want to know it's crazy? I can click replay, right? And I'm literally watching what just happened. I can do this for any game. Every game simulates, it actually simulates. So, not just my games, but other games around the league. So, if we simulate the Super Bowl, but I wasn't in it, we can literally go watch that whole game. Because it actually simulates the play. It doesn't just put a random score up and then the numbers don't match, like in Madden. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but, yeah. So, anyway, so this would be the screen if I was coaching. Now, if we just wanted to watch and I didn't want to pick the plays, we could literally just watch the game unfold like you guys just seen. I wouldn't have to keep hitting replay. We could just watch the game. But if I wanted to pick the plays and coach, this is what it would look like. So right now we're on defense, so I'm red. And uh, so it shows me the names above the players and also their, their, their stat. So this guy's an eight overall. This guy's an eight overall, so... Osborne should be pretty good at locking up McCartney, right? But we're going to have to watch out for Kitchens, right? He's a nine overall rated quarterback. That's like he's a franchise quarterback. And also look at that freaking offensive line they got. The lowest guy they got is a seven. Our highest guy is across the board is just like a seven. So we're not really going to be getting to Kitchens too much. So, you know, if I needed help, I could go to – um. Oh, not that. I could go to uh, ask the coach, suggest a play for me, and then you simulate, right? It says, Kitchen scrambles for a one-yard gain. 
to the Philadelphia's 22 out of bounds. So if I wanted to watch it, just to show you guys real quick. Yo, episode one talk about what this is. So he just got sacked there. He ended up turning Second it down, so out of bounds. And yeah, it, it it looks bad. Don't you know? Trust me, I know. But um, it's pr I was actually having fun with it. Fun enough that I want to record it. So, it, you know, I'm probably gonna record it just so I can look back myself at it. And uh, yeah, he's gonna run it. I think he's gonna pass it. I'm gonna go. So it's kind of like I'm guessing almost. Now my thing is, uh, best defense against m also very good versus long passes. Its vulnerabilities is to draw screens and short passes as well as crossing patterns to tight ends. So, as you guys see, um, each type of defense has its weakness and its pros. So I'm go I'm thinking that on second and nine, he's probably going to try and go medium, a medium pass. Now my thing is I don't know how to um. To change the formation, I guess I want to see something. So I want to actually test this out. If I go to defend against the screen, are they going to change the formation they're in? They did. They did change. Okay, so that's how. So we're going to go defend the medium pass. Uh, that's where we're going to go. Let's see what works. There it is, four-yard gain. So not too bad. We, we hold them to a third and five. Pass the incomplete, defend it, and there we go. We just did our thing. We made the Philadelphia Eagles go three and out. And so that's how that works. Um, if I wanted to sim the whole game, we could watch the highlights at the end. So that's pretty cool. And then you can look at the stats. I mean, this, game's, this game is very in-depth, guys. As far as if you're a, you know, a numbers kind of guy, I think you'd really like this game. But uh, I'm not going to sit and play this whole game. We are going to go ahead and um, I wish, one thing I do wish, I wish I could sim offense and, and coach defense. That would be cool. Three-yard gain, so third and goal. Do we, do we push it up the middle? What is it, third and goal? It looks like we're on the one, man. I have faith in. I'm not gonna pull a Seattle Seahawks. I'm gonna run it up the middle, man. Touchdown. Let's go ahead and watch it. Hut, hut. First touchdown in Green Green Bay Packers history. Touchdown. You just watched it run up the middle. What was his name? What's his name? Cagle. Cagle. Just scored for the first time ever. So there it is, guys. You get the gist of this part of the of the game. So I'll um go ahead and let's let's get out of here. Let's sim the rest of this game. So right here, I can uh, switch or sim the rest of this game. We'll see if we won. I I gave my team a lead. It ended up being a very close game, twenty eight to twenty six. Now, real quick, this is what's cool about it. Say I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, wow, that was a really good game. Let's click on it. Let's watch the highlights like it's Sports Center. It literally does, it literally does, it does that, especially if you're a numbers guy. But, uh, yeah, so we can, you know, take a look at, at quarterback stats. He went 26 out of 38, so he, almost around 70% completion. That's actually pretty good. He threw for 400 yards, three touchdown passes, and only threw one interception. I mean, he was on the ball. Uh, Swift did his thing. Uh, and actually, no, he didn't. He averaged under three. I don't, I don't want a running back who averages under three. Cagle did his thing, though. Receiving, Jay Aaron was our leader. In Robertson, we had two guys get triple digits. And for defense, who stepped up? Sacks. Can I sort these? I can't. Sacks, it was Haynes. He had 15 tackles, two sacks. He was killing it. So there it is. Okay, so let's, um, and I can literally save this crap. It's just, this is crazy. But yeah, so our first ever game in history, in a tight struggle, Green Bay squeaked by the Philadelphia Eagles. And there it is, guys. First game of history in the NFL for 
our teams. Now we can watch any. You guys see it. We can watch any game, any game at all. Send the rest of this week though. Let's do it. Ah, so there it is. Um, New England beats Minnesota. Miami falls to the Chicago Bears. But yeah, man. So there's a lot in this game. Now, if I wanted to coach every everything, that might be fun. But I would definitely have to lower the uh, the quarter length because I'm not about to sit and watch everything. Now, so we're in week two. We can go to the leaders now just so you guys can see. So when viewing the leader screen, you can view passing, rushing, defense, etc. But you can also select any stat column. For example, if you're viewing passing leaders, you can view completion leaders, passing yard leaders, longest passes, etc. Simply by tapping a different column. Tap a column a second time to reverse it. So if I wanted to see who has completed the most passes in the league, well, right now it's Denver's quarterback, Butler. That's pretty dang cool. So let's go with two yards. And Marone, our quarterback, is the leader after one week. As far as touchdowns, he's, he's up there, dude. And interceptions, you see it. So this is cool, guys. This is pretty dang cool, man. Jenkins, the Baltimore Ravens, Jenkins, just he ran it for 175 yards, man. What a game he had. And if we wanted to, this is what's amazing, guys. If we wanted to go watch that game that Jenkins had, you can go watch. Like, that's the crazy thing about this, dude. You can go, you can go watch that game if you wanted to. Now, this is another thing that's cool. Let me just show you this really quick. So, there's leaders, right? So, if we do that... And we go to team stats. Oh, no. I think there's a way. If I can. Uh... Oh, it's not available because this is the first season. But I can go to. Let's say. We'll just use Butler for an example right here. I can literally look at just Butler's career stats. Obviously, this is just the first year that there's nothing to look at. So that's another cool thing. About this. Um. Now, my thing, what I'm wondering is, when do I get to scout um, the draft? Because I don't want to miss out on that. It is just week two, though, so. Okay, and I can change the name right here, I guess. Uh, That's fine. Okay, so Alex Perez, congratulations, you won your first game. Let's go ahead, man. I know... Uh, I think I've been recording for a while. These are gonna be long episodes and stuff, but I want to get I want to get more deep into this. I know I wasted most of the time just having to explain it to y'all, so I want to go. I want to get into this stuff. Um, hmm. I think for now, for this game, this is the first time we're ever meeting the Chicago Bears. Let's at least. Uh, Let's at least do the first drive. Why not? Uh, let's do this. Let's go. Um, now, am I ready for expert? I don't think I'm ready for expert. Not yet. So, we've won. We're going to go ahead and receive the ball. I'll do one drive on offense, and we'll see. Uh, kicks in the end zone type of return. So deep lineup. I'm not too sure what that is. Let's just go. So we... Oh, my God. He fumbled it. Okay, but we, we uh, picked it back up. Thank God. Okay, so we have the ball at the, at the 29, so that's good. All right, so here we go. So we're going to start this. Uh, we're going to do one drive, and then we'll sim the rest of the game. We're going to start it off with a short pass. Why not? So, we started off Maroon to Aaron for a four-yard gain. Not bad. Uh, second and six. I don't I don't really necessarily like starting off. I don't. I definitely am not into that run-run pass offense. That's a horrible offense. To, I hate Miami does that way too much. 
We're going to run it, though. We pass it, now we're going to run it. And no gain. So third and six. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a medium pass. We're going to do a medium pass. 12-yard gain. Green Bay. Marone. Do we have a good quarterback? He's 35. We need to use him while we still have him. You know, we're not going to slow down there. We're going to go for long pass. And it's a 40-yard to the Chicago's 15. Tackled by Mitchell. We are, we're doing it. We're out here getting it done. We're going to hit him with a short pass here. Incomplete. Defended by D on the play. So second and 10. Let's, uh, let's run it here. On second and 10. Sets us up on a third and four. So we're going to go pass. We're going to go screen. And it goes backwards for three. So we end up getting stuffed. Um, so that, that kind of sucks. So we're going to kick the field goal. It's a 75% chance. So we'll go ahead and. We'll hit that, and it's 3-0. to zero. So, Williams' kick is good. There it is, guys. So, my second controlled drive, and I led Green Bay to a field goal. And hopefully we win. We don't. We lose. So, we lose 28-16. to 16. That sucks. Uh, let's see what happened. So, for passing, I mean... Jay Marone had a decent game. He threw two picks, though. That So that kind of sucks. Uh, rushing. Swift did better. He averaged almost five yards of carry. Probably should have fed him a little more. Aaron had, uh, he had another triple-digit game. I don't know. We just weren't, weren't there. Weren't ready.